Ooh, welcome in, welcome back to the channel, guys. Real quick, yeah, real quick, guys. This is a uh Durango Dodge Durango 2017 model, guys. Y'all know what that means? Do y'all understand what that means? Hear me out for a second. 2017 model, Ooh, it's hot. Um, uh, it's a Gen 3, guys. Remember, Pentastar. Remember, the Gen 3 showed up in the 2016 Dodge Durango and the Jeep Grand Cherokee. All right. So from now on out, those vehicles will be uh, in the V6 category. They will be equipped with the Pentastar Generation 3. The other option is a V8, uh, the Hemi engine. OK, but yes, uh, this has the Generation 3 pentastar engine and guys it's looking like this may be the first time i get to work on one remember i told y'all guys i'm sticking to my word i have no reason to lie it is the honest truth okay i have yet to go inside a gen 3 pentastar engine and i'm here daily i'm surrounded by these engines the fact is the fact of the matter is guys they holding up Okay, none of that first generation, second generation problem as far as valve train, ticky noise, lifters, rockers, things like that, camshaft being chewed into, none of those problems, guys. Okay, so I have yet to get a complaint of a. Uh, okay, most of they they being seen mostly in the mini uh, Pacifica, the Pacifica or the Grand Cherokee or the Durango. I have yet to go inside one. I took the plenum off one to do a tune up. Yeah, spark plugs. All right, but they holding up. Now, this was in for cooling leaks. So I'm not sure how I get to go inside unless, well, even if it's the, I wouldn't even think it's the oil filter adapter housing because this is a new and improved oil filter adapter housing. So I don't know, guys. Uh, I don't know what's wrong with it, but I got to find out. So it's overheating. It's in for overheating. They said losing coolant. So I don't want to run it too long. In fact, let me go. I want to see. If we got any cooling in the reservoir i think he told me that the customer topped it off because it was extremely low now that's could be a good thing and a bad thing the good thing about that is the leak should be obvious right i mean you should look under the hill or look under the hood and see right where it's at yep pentastar g uh gen 3. okay look right in the known areas of the uh of the uh look right in the known areas of the like radiator and things like that but for the most part these this engine is man i'm not gonna say bulletproof that's using a harsh word see i don't even see go cooling down there and that's cooling in the reservoir so they, they i think he topped it off let me see if i can see me turn this well i can't see under there but uh, I have no choice. I have to get it in the air, guys. I don't want to run it too long. Well, it's got cooling in it, but who knows how much in the engine. So, without further ado, uh, let's get this thing in the shop, guys. I'm going to take a break, guys. When I come back, we will be inside the shop going up in the air. All right? So, stay tuned. I'll be right back. Alrighty, guys. Okay, here we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Oh, I just saw a drip. Y'all see that? Where did that come from, people? Where did that drip? Was it right there? Uh-oh. Oh, no. Guys, this is a cooler part of the cooler to the transmission. But remember, guys, cooling leaks need to go up higher, like the highest point. So I got coolant. All right. So it's making sense. They did add some coolant. So now, typically, you know, I was able to look under here outside. I didn't see cooling right here. This will insinuate a radiator leaking, but, and this is like as far as I can see. I couldn't see like back there. So that's why I couldn't, I was trying to get a peek outside on the ground where it might, it could be coming from. I was thinking your typical radiator, but no guys, it's farther back. It's in this area, but it could be higher. It is higher, so yeah. See, this is a fool unit thinking it's the cooler just because you got yeah, it's all cooling, but that's coming higher. Let me take y'all up. Y'all see anything? What up, man? All right, uh, oh, guys, this is coming higher. Uh, please don't tell me this. 
the the um uh, but this is why it's overheating guys it was low on coolant so it's not your typical 3.6 pentastar i know i said earlier i'm finally about to get a chance to work on a, a gen 3 this is a gen 3 but <laughs> it's not a valve train ticky issue okay i have yet to do one of those and from the look of this i still not gonna be working on a I gotta let it down guys uh, look i see something right there y'all see that and it looks like it's about to fall let me zoom in on that right there y'all see that if that drip there you go there you go y'all see that uh oh here it come here it come it's about to fall any day there it is y'all saw it y'all saw it i'm glad y'all saw it i need a witness so guys this is coming from these are coolant pipes Oh, don't tell me they yeah I know we having a lot of problems with the split look here come another drip right there yeah I know we having a lot of problems with the crimps on it look like a heater hole so I'm gonna do disregard all this yes it's cooling on here look it's cooling on the trans some people may even think the trans some people will say the transmission is leaking coolant guys come on we got to be brighter than that all right so look let's do this all right guys i am freaking pissed all right i want to show y'all something talk about a shitty i'm sorry talk about a shitty poor piss poor design uh tom cook heller y'all y'all some dealer guys i want y'all to see this man uh now i'm a big fan of dodge chrysler but this has to be the most and i think it's like a fluke thing guys i want to point something out to y'all all right I'm gonna try to zoom in. Look, I want y'all to pay attention to. Uh, let me grab. Let me grab a long screw by driver. Hold tight. So, this is the one. This is the Durango with the leak. I want y'all to look at something real close. Let me get you as much light as possible. Okay. Now you see this. You see this. Uh, that is a hose clamp. You see this line right here. That hose. This line. Let me. Oh my goodness, man. This line has been rubbing on this clamp and has eaten into it, okay? I can literally feel on the top of this damn thing. And this is where my cooling leak is coming from. Right, look, it's just rubbing on, oh my freaking goodness, guys. Oh. So uh, uh, pay attention to the hose clamp and the hose. Okay, now this leak is getting worse, but I want to show y'all something. That hose go, look guys, this is part of the heater hose that go. Remember that video, watch this video right here. Remember that video I did how it's time to quit when you start having to make repairs like this. This hose go all the way under here, under here, through here, <coughs> through here, through here so it's under the tank so it's under there under the frame oh my goodness uh under the frame some more what does it lead out to oh my god it comes out on this end and then goes into the rear heater unit oh my freaking all for coolant coolant is needed to go to the rear to apply for real heat but right there See, I can't even get under that now. The leak is getting heavier. Right there, guys. That line is rubbing on that. If that hose clamp was turned just a little bit more this way. Oh, you got to be freaking kidding me, man. Lord, please don't let this be warranty. I am freaking pissed right now.